I think music was meant to be made with people. Yeah. You know, it was meant to be collaborative effort. Like some songs were made just like on the spot, kind of like that. And so I, I use that as an example because I really feel like that's how you fish for really good like ideas in, in music is the, the energy of the collaborative efforts. Raise your hand if you know someone here. Okay, so that's 35, 40% of you, maybe. I, we did a past the aux in Wallingford, Connecticut. Have you guys been there before? No, uh, absolutely not, no, no one. <laughs> and we did pass the aux there, and uh, I think there was like 20 people that came. And the first question I asked them was, raise your hand if you know someone here. And literally no one raised their hand. And that was kind of like a, an experiment in my mind, because I was like, damn, I'm in this like really small city, and you guys are all producers and artists, but you don't know each other. How is that possible? You know, I think this is a great opportunity for you guys to like start empowering each other and create a little bit of momentum here. A uh, component to these past the aux sessions I'm doing is to empower you guys to really just keep in touch and create some momentum in the city. I always, I always go back and reference like James Brown I don't remember, like I was reading this book about James Brown and like when he was making music back then, basically the way he would do it, it would be like, you know, like a studio with like the tape, the two inch tape, and obviously they didn't have Pro Tools back then. And it would just be his band, right? Like in this like room, like the size of this, and it would be like a drum set, be a drummer, there would be like a keyboard, a bass player, a guitar player. And the engineer would just record, hit record, and they would just like freestyle, they would jam out and just play whatever, but they were so like in sync with each other that they were just like locked in, right? And then like James would just be like late to the session. So he would walk in like an hour later and they would just be locked in jamming and they would turn the mic on and he would just start singing, just start going, ooh, ah, you know, all that shit. You know, when like hip hop came into the picture and like beat machines, it became one person in front of a machine shopping records and putting these full beats together, which was like technologically uh, groundbreaking. But for a while, we sort of like lost the essence of having other people in the room composing together. That's why like in sample hip hop, we're sampling 70s soul, because that's like when the magic was happening. I think music is going back to like the essence of music making, where it's like a lot of composing. You know, like when I work with Boy Wanda, it's like, I'll compose a melody and I'll send it to him. He'll send back ideas and we'll go back and forth. And like, um, anytime I collaborate, we're building something from scratch together. And um, I'm just a, uh, you know, I'm a fan of that. I think it works. And I think, um, you know, it doesn't have to be like a big name producer. You know, it could be someone in this room. Like, I'm hoping that some of you guys before the end of tonight you know, end up like really linking with each other and exchanging phone numbers and just start messing around and collaborating with each other because that's where it starts, you know? So I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not too late, bro. I like, no, I like the simplicity of it though, too. But you could do, you, yeah. Take it somewhere. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes, so, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you don't want to go nuts, though. You know. I got carried away, but I was like, you know what? This could be a solid record. Keep it. Yeah. Yup. That shit is mega. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to have two versions. A lot of people. Yeah. Frank. Frank. Yup. Like till death do us part type thing. Okay. Yup. Like be down like for good or for bad. Okay. Right? Yep. So, that's, what was, that's what I was thinking. Can we start yeah, from the top. From the top. Man.
I was uh, following my man Ilangelo, um, who's a producer, his account, and he made a post about like, I, I guess it was like a, um, like a prediction for the future of music. And he was like, uh, in the future, basically people with all streaming services and stuff, people are gonna be able to download music based on their interests and their feelings and computers and algorithms are going to compose the music for them based on algorithms of like some of the greatest musicians so if there's like a, a, a person that really loves like the Beatles then there's going to be an algorithm written of like Beatles chord progressions tempos styles and then the computer is going to compose the entire song and deliver it for you so Down, talk to them, find out the kind of person they are, and probably prescribe music to them. Prescri holy shit. Holy shit. You get what I'm saying? That's insane. Prescribing like, cus I can custom tell that music. He's calm. Yeah. You know, he answered this question this way, this way, that way. His, you know, I can tell by hand gestures, stuff like that. They animated, you know, maybe, maybe this infusion of yeah. hip hop and rock. Yeah. Would, Put on headphones. Wow. <laughs> All right, take a jog yeah. five times a day. Yeah. Listen to this. Yeah. yeah. And he went from 12, you know, 12 in the afternoon to 2 p.m. Just, you know. Put That's fucking crazy. On.